Good evening, everybody. How are you doing today? Hello. What is up? Mr. Dallas did redeem it today. Yep. I don't know, man. Just waiting for that. Waiting for that button. I was running late. And then I saw that he was in here. <laughs> Cat Template, Alex Frostman, Ash. How you doing, guys? What's going on? Welcome. It's interesting. Playing One Step from Eden? I think I have it. One Step from Eden. Jay the 111, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. Uh, one Step? I don't have it. Let's have a look at our wish list real quick here. Do I have a. Oh, yeah, look at that. Waiting on the Go XLR to start streaming. Right on, dude. It's a good machine. It's a good machine. I like it a lot. You get some really uh, custom... Just the sliders are nice, I guess. Nice to have. Have I ever thought about playing Inscription? Thought about it. Yeah, so I finished it. Um, and then I played the roguelike version. And then I'm bringing it back to stream. See, I think about that a lot, actually. Devons, good evening. Thank you so much. Two months in a row. Very kind, very kind. Um, all coming soon, coming soon. Re replaced. I don't know what replaced is. Curse to God. This, I'm super excited about this one. Let's have a look. Ones I'm really looking forward to. Um, this, obviously... This looks dope as shit. This looks really cool too. Fabular. I'm really excited about that. Hopefully that comes out this year. This one looks kind of mysterious. It might be a cross between like Firewatch and Outer Wilds. I'm looking forward to that. Obviously Silksong. Um, Weird West. Very excited for. Peglin. Very excited for. Endless Dungeon. Very excited for. Loot River. Metal, uh, metal Slug Tactics um, Curse One until Silk Song comes out. Curse to Golf. Have a nice death. That's the one we saw during the Game Awards. Um, this one looks kind of interesting. Last Stand Aftermath. It. I don't think it ever went over twenty. Uh, sorry, ten percent off. So I don't know if I don't know if we'll get that or not. I might wait for a, a bit, bit of a better discount but it's still very po apocalyptic let's say survival worries me somewhat i'd have to watch some gameplay but if there's a if the survival's too heavy i'm, I'm not down i added this recently i was this close to pulling the trigger on forza um this was recommended recently forged in shadow torch this is another one that probably should have gotten more uh more uh oh you can't see my mouse oh we're talking about yes you can um high fleet i may end up removing from here just because it's very, um, what would be a good word to describe High Fleet? Technical? <clears throat> One thing you hate about having so many monitors is trying to find your mouse. I use a program called Display Fusion Pro. 
The only reason I bought it is, let me see if I can show you this. So you can kind of see my cursor over here, right? In the Steam window. If I am up here and I want to drag from here down to here, you can't. It won't let you. Windows is like, no, that's impossible. I can't do that. There's a wall there. Um, with Display Fusion Pro, it just snaps back. See? It's awesome. That's the only reason I bought it. But it has a ton of other features as well. Um, I have a foot switch that sort of aligns all of these because every time I restart, all these windows get fucked up. These are all Chrome windows down the bottom. This go to the top. Jay, the 111, no sweat, dude. Thank you again for the raid. Um, and I think, I think One Step from Eden's on here somewhere. I added Inmost the other day as well. There it is. There it is. One step from even Eden. Even? Eden. Grid based game, huh? Oh, it's hot as shit in here. It's weird. We had a, a freezing night. Like the house the whole house was cold as shit. Um So I, I cranked the heat up and now now it's too hot, of course, because that's that's just the way it works. The Mac OS thing. <laughs> Windows needs a lot of the stuff that is ingrained in Mac OS. Fucking Windows, dude. Um I deleted a few games from from the library last night because fucking where is it? I made a bit of a purchase this one right here. I bought that yesterday. That's 111 gigabytes worth. So I thought um I thought I'd make some room by getting rid of some other stuff. The man just doesn't stop streaming. It's my job. <laughs> I think it was 100, 110. Sorry, I take it back. 97. My bad. Looks like there's an update to Hades too. Okay. Okay. Well. Thank you for joining me on this Steam journey. Can you get the double stair cam for a minute? I mean, that's reserved for special occasions. Okay. Hello, Melfina. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. Mr. Dallas. Thank you very much for the five gifted, my dude. <laughs> Understood. Understood. Um, shall we do a shall we do a uh a gamba? I think we can. Do a quick one. Alright. Will McQueeb win the next run? soy milk i might take an alternate route you know just just for a funsies maybe not maybe not all the way through to mother but we could do a couple of floors hello great jug the the great jug wait who is that that's laffy taffy <laughs> you son of a bitch okay here we go good luck everybody Especially me. Good luck, me. Okay. Let's 
We're a little bit slow. Our damage is a little bit low. But I ain't gonna throw. That's how you know. And we're gonna get a choice in our item room. It's pretty dope. Do I have a favorite character? I do. It's Kane. You can eat pills mostly guilt free. low damage huh tier rates are right damage is pretty bad We've got two bombs one key i will consider going alternate route but i'm thinking maybe not here best active item in the game isaac's tears you think it's good um, it'd be even better if we had like a, uh, well, that's our speed for the moment. It'd be even better if we had a, uh, a laser beam of some description. Please, please to give, not bomb. Please to give anything else, but not bomb. Well, there goes the tear rate right through the roof. <laughs> That's a trinket. Isaac's tears do not work with lasers. I think it works with brim, right? Wait, it used to. Yes. No? Oh, maybe not. Oh, shit. Fuck. What do we get? Damage. Range. Uh, sh sh poopy. Oh. <laughs> Am I thinking Tammy's head? Maybe. That's a, a single room use, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. <sighs> well, I hate to do it, but I got stuff. 17. I could... Oh, man. Oh, man. Don't like these high stress environments. And 
Ух. Let's stay away from that room, huh? Kinda bad. Kinda bad. A little bit. A little bit bad. Interesting Minecraft mod there. Oh, I get it, because we're breaking rocks. I like it. Nada. Shit. So we've got two cents back. I can't even afford the pill now. Big fail on my behalf. I might have to go blow up the machines. Wow. Got my scent. All right. I can't even change my effect from what's that item called it's not lotus the other one the other not lotus one hey forest what's going on man how you doing purity okay let's give this a shot huh <laughs> brilliant <laughs> i got i gotta laugh i gotta laugh <laughs> Uh Guys are gonna explode bad. Little Steven, please. Okay. Okay, good start. I did not like that. Okay, I don't I don't have much choice. Let's keep going. Against all odds. Fuck you. We are so very much staying with this trinket. And for once, I'm going to go item room first. <laughs> Hilarious. Too risky. No, we're good.
Let's wait. Let's wait on that. I'm going for the boss challenger. The chance of it being health is pretty high. It's not perfect, but it's pretty high. Oh boy. I don't like it. Shit. We do have a lot of tears, thanks to little Steven. And uh, almost all of them are homing-ish. Who's next? Okay. Okay, not horrible. Okay. Great item. We could swallow a guppy piece. Maybe I need a fuck ton of health for that. All right, let's keep keep clearing. God gamer, oh, don't give me too much credit. I might keep this combo. Like, yeah, I'm, I might keep it. Huh. Tell you what, any drops would be kind of cool. <sighs> Fucking dead. Fucking dead. seem like you get paid to play video games. Tears up again. I think it still needs a charge, right? This could be a fail if I took that in there. Activates your active item for free. No, it's pretty self explanatory. We'll see. Oh, fuck. That's actually bad. Oh my god, that was close. Too fucking close. Okay. Okay. Okay, breathe a little bit. Breathe. Breathe, queer. Breathe. Fuck, that was dumb. Okay. No keys, no bombs. Hmm.
Okay. <sighs> Shake it off. Yeah. I could stick my nose in there and take a quick look. Might be some black hearts on the ground. Nah. I need that sacred heart that's going to drop this floor. <clears throat> uh, Melfina, I don't know if you're still here. You are still here. Um, somebody tagged me in Dan's uh, unlocking of... Um, what, was, what was the last item? Was it Genesis? And I was like, I was there, baby! <laughs> tears love it seven tears in fact um what else is news oh right of course um uh, last night's episode of black mirror was really good it was the play test episode oh wait i did watch downfall was that last one that was last night did i watch two? i watched two last night i watched downfall as well i'm i'm well So Downfall is annoying because of the way Jessica Chastain... Uh, sorry, Bryce Dallas, Dallas Howard. Um, is behaving. Not acting. She's, her acting's great. Uh, but the way the character is behaving. And that's, I think that's done intentionally. Um, and then, and then Playtest, which is a great episode. The concept is great, but I... The actor was annoying. Well, the, again, the way he was acting. Um, yeah, creepy. Creepy episode. I love it. Have I seen the White Bear Park episode? Yeah, that was season... That was first episode of season two, I think. I don't, I don't think the word park is in the name, but yes, if it's White Bear that I'm thinking of. No, wait, I'm thinking White Christmas. Downfall, is there such an episode? Season 3, episode 1. It is Downfall, right? Freefall. It's the one where, like, social score is everything. No, Stife. See? Told ya. <laughs> yeah, I really, I really disliked the actor. I've known a lot of people that have traveled the country and whatever, but... The, uh, he was just acting super like excited and and like pumped to get into this game and then it was just it was weird it was weird anyway i love this show i'm i'm right into it again um i probably won't shut the hell up about it Don't exactly need habit if we're sticking with this build. The one where the lady has amnesia. Yes, yeah, that is that is. Um... Is it white bear? Yeah, the one. The, the, she wakes up and the symbol is on the TV. Yeah, I like that one.
playtest was messed up because they didn't tell him it was a horror game. No, they did, Donkey Jim. They did. The the guy, the game developer is famous for it. Now the question is was he pushed there by his friend that he met? Oh god. Like was that part of the plan? Uh, Donkey Jim, how are you, dude? Great to see you, by the way. That's it, man? Oh, shit. Here we go again. Okay. I do love this trinket so, 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 so much. Rapid99, what's up, man? Game's really making you earn this win? Well, look, we gotta turn that two into a three. It's it's that simple, That's that's my mission tonight. Calf Kitten, hello. Calf Kitten, is calf short for caffeine? Speaking of caffeine, back on the grind, says Ashwood, yes. Yeah. Any remember the movie Black Hawk Down? And, um... What's his name? What's the, what's the actor's name? I'm, I'm blanking on the most simple things. Um, I think he, was his name Grimes in the movie? He was like, he was like, he wanted to see battle, but he didn't get to, um, and he makes coffee for people and he's, he's like a coffee snob now. It's like, it's all in the grind and it's, it's American accent is pretty horrid, horrible. Very famous. He's played Obi-Wan Kenobi for Christ's sake. Ewan McGregor. Thank you. That was, um, I think that was a, a bit of a breakout role for him, right? Black Hawk Down came... Is that before Star Wars? Shit, I don't know. I know Ms. Queeb talks about my memory a lot. And my ability to recall facts. Um... Yeah, it's, it's not, it's not what it used to be. First DVD you ever owned was Black Hawk Down. No way, really? Shit, I can't remember mine. The two guys who run the light machine gun and go deaf. Right, funnily enough, also in train spotting. Um, I, I'm not sure of his name. He's a great actor though. Train starting. Right. No, no, no. I, I meant internationally, though. Like, that might have been his big, um, sort of US. But Black Hawk Down came out, I want to say 2001? Didn't Star Wars come out in 99? Shit. Now I'm confused. Your wife's shouting Moulin Rouge. Do you know I've never watched that? You and Bremner. 
That's his name. Yeah, he's, he's a great actor. I've seen him in tons of things. Very memorable face. There's a guy who was in Braveheart. You see him in a lot of different things. Um, and you remember him because he has a scar on his face. Scottish, I think. Um, but he's another one that pops up from, from time to time in, in movies. And you're like, it's the guy! It's the guy! Wasn't Phantom Menace filmed way earlier than it was released? Hmm, maybe. Tommy Flanagan? It's the guy. Thank you for the soul hearts and the golden bomb. That's like a consolation prize for me. I'll take it. Is it the McQueen trivia hour? <laughs> I, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. According to Google, Ewan McGregor's first movie was A New Hope. What? I believe the term wrong on so many levels comes to mind. But hey, if you're going to be wrong, go all the way. Seven bombs. Want more money? Stopwatch was there. It was right there. They retconned him as a force ghost. That's right, they did. In the... 97? Question mark? Special edition? They did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. That doesn't make sense either. No, that would have come later. There were several special editions. buy the key but I think we've got five plays at the Gamblatron let's fucking use them oh that was close oh shit that would have been devastating Now, maybe. All right, come on. Come on, poor machine. Now's your time to shine. Now's your time to shine. Thank you. Used to work with guys headquartered in Renfrew. And they were harder to understand speaking English than the guys you worked with in Spain. Where is... Sorry, pardon my ignorance. Geography is not my strong suit. Where's Renfrew? Ren, Renfrew?
Who we got? Dead guy. Oh, good shit. Let's go. Here we go. I'll take it. 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 Not a single solitary heart, huh? Okay. What was the item I'm glad I didn't pick up? Um, it's called the tick. It is a trinket that can only be removed with one item or swallowed. Um, and uh, yeah, I didn't want to keep that. That would have been bad because um, it automatically drops the trinket that you're currently holding. And uh, this particular one is amazing and I want to keep it. Box, boxed myself in. Alright, let's clean up. We do have experimental pill there. I'm not really keen on that. If you're curious as to why I'm blowing everything up, it's because um, well, I have a golden bomb. That's what I do. Again, make sure you get every ounce of value out of a floor. Um, I went ahead and bought, for those just coming in, I, I went ahead and bought... Um, Mass Effect last night. Um, I had to link my EA account because of course I did. Um, so I went ahead and did that. That's all. That's all set up now. Um, I haven't. I haven't put it up on on uh, OBS yet for game capture, but. I'm thinking I'm thinking it's a good choice. Like an excellent game. And apparently the remaster, remake, legendary thing, whatever, is really good too, so. Double bonus. Mass Effect just for the day. Well, if if we do it, we're gonna do it one through three with the same character right through, so. No, it, it might be the full the full dealio. Have I played it before? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, long time ago though. Did that come out on the original Xbox? That's that's one of the reasons why when ME2 came out, I couldn't transfer my save at the time. I think you can now with some shenaniganery, but um Oh, these lucky pennies. This is good. This is good. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. We've 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 stabilized. I believe the term is. By the way, uh, if nobody stayed awake for Hollow's um, streak of FTL, he his, it has ended. It ended at 124, which is absolutely fucking phenomenal. That's vanilla runs cycling through every ship. Uh, so like he'll do all 28 ships and then he'll cycle again random pick but uh, random pick minus the ones he's done out of the 28 per cycle look it's complicated okay I'm s I'm sorry is, is that an, an... knackers hello how are you friend folks knackers doesn't have a sub I'm gonna fix that Don't? No, I no. You can't tell me what to do. This is my stream.
Nah, he's a very good friend of mine. Met him on TikTok. Surprise, surprise. Um, really fucking good guy. Puts up with my shit. I give him... Uh, I don't really give him shit. I just... We, we, we jab. We jab. I am never cruel or mean to anyone. But there's jabs. Uh, I believe the first person to call me McQueef was Knackers. Very clever. Get uh, let's get some bombs laid down here and here for zero payouts. Good. DT Fishboat, what's up, dude? DT Fishboat actually has one very small advantage over knackers, and that's that. Um, he lives in Los Angeles. Yeah. Wait, I saw this room already. Fifteen cents for five keys. It's not a bad idea. Ignore the yelps in the background. That is Miss Queeb fighting with my dog. Sounds like the dog's winning. Wait, don't we have an item? Yeah, 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 the egg. It's growing. What's the best familiar... Well, not even a familiar. What's the best uh, friendly enemy you can spawn from that? There has to be some calculation there. Tinted rock as well. Get him. No shit. More rock. What's my speed at? 1.11. Back to point nine. Mm hmm. Great when you get that room with one hit of health left and a spike chest spawns on your exit path. Ugh. Negative 18 degrees Celsius. Holy fuck. That is, um, it's a little cool.
let's go get uh let's go get the item and possibly found the secret room yet no i have not could be there maybe And possibly the the challenge room. Yeah, I think so. This game took a massive turn, huh? Been years since you've seen snow. Same. Same. Uh, a little sad. I do I do like snow. I don't like being in s snow. Well, that's not true. I like being in it. I just don't like living in it. One hundred percent chance at five luck. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, Lodestone is really good, but contagion though. Yeah, I, I prefer it. At five luck. Oh, 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 oh. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, understood. I'm a goofball. I get it. We got our damage up. Wow. Can we keep it? Uh, Knackers, if you're still here, dude, do you watch, uh, you watch Black Mirror? We were discussing it a little bit earlier. I'm obsessed, again, with Black Mirror. I'm a little on the slow side, that's the only problem. Does the egg go off? No, so, I mean, pre... Pre-repentance, it possibly would have, but they adjusted a lot of the items where self-damage, aka spikes, sorry, blood donation machines, uh, sacrifice room spikes, or going in and out of the curse room, uh, they don't trigger a lot of effects now. So that is one. It looks like that egg is, is its maximum size. It hasn't changed since, so. But we still haven't actually gotten hit since then. You've seen seasons one and two, whatever season ended with a girl in a museum. Oh no, that's, that's the end of season three or four, I think. Is the episode called, wait, girl in a museum? Yeah, now I'm not sure. Oh, close. I just don't want to lose my damage. That's it. That's all. Range up. Wow, thanks.
White bear. My favorite episode is Crocodile. Wait, I watched a third one today. I was, I barely got any sleep last night. So I was up and down all night. Um... What's the one where the kid is told what to do? He's done something. We don't know what it is. Really fucking dark episode. And he's told to do something and deliver a package or whatever. Good episode, but covers some really dark shit. Okay, bye. John Ham. Oh, that's that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Not seen any after Crocodile. Because it was such an impactful episode or um Oh, I got hit again twice. There we go. We we get a viz. That's it. I mean, not complaining, I guess. Pretty good. There's only so much misery you can take. That's that's fair. It does get a little bit annoying the constant barrage of sounds. Yeah, I'll give you the, I'll give you that. Active items don't charge when clearing rooms, they charge when dealing damage to enemies. All right, I've got to look this up. Isaac's tears. There has to be a play here. Yes, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Synergies. Nope, that's another one where there's no synergies listed, if any. Okay. Would take a lot of damage to charge. Right, The my point is, it's just a quicker charge. Um, like, it, it can't get... Uh, because this charges with... Firing. Every tier adds a adds a, a sixth to it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll skip it. Good for future active. Well, no, we're gonna keep this one. I had an opportunity to pick up an Emperor card before, but I did not. Get it. Look at that. Holy shit.
used to do a weekly news review show called Newswipe. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Does it focus on the same kind of stuff he covers in Black Mirror? I need to activate. But I don't want to lose my damage up. goodness oh my goodness this has gone from zero to hero that's what the, that's what the kids say zero to hero just going for the dub crawbird that'll, that'll be the majority of the wins had the first floor been much 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 better i probably would have opted for to go a different route but yeah no way now let's just get this one knock it out I mean, it's fine. 9.7. I mean, it was better before, yes. Wasn't worth. That's okay. I'll probably take a hit here, whether I like it or not. Yes, mother. Alright. Well. Speed up. Glad I got Contagion, it's super good. Interesting, that was a charge key. Didn't do anything to Isaac's tears. That is that is very interesting. So maybe four and a half volt wouldn't have done shit anyway. So. up not that away whoops back to range God, that slowdown is, is significant. Was it 0.5? Yeah, that's a big change. up again. Alright, good. 
And I just don't get hit. Have they nerfed that, I wonder? The upgrades that we're getting are light. Oh, wow. I don't know how long ago I swallowed uh, brain worm, but oh well. Clearly paying a lot of attention here. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Um... <laughs> Not exactly what I wanted. How do I how do I lose it? It's gotta be from an enemy, right? Like I can't do a fire. Ah How long will it last? It lasts until it gets destroyed. And I'm fairly certain that it can only be done on enemies. Alright. Alright, whatever. I'll make it work. Is it an orbital? Mm hmm? Yep. Blow it up? I don't think you can. Or. Correction, not without taking damage. Look how close it is. It's alright, something will stand on it. What about this though? Okay. Ugh. It lives. Oh, we lost it. Good shit. Okay, cool. Happy days. We out.
And, most notably, didn't get hit ourselves. Shut up and dance, I think, is the name of the episode. The one that I'm... I probably fell asleep, so halfway through, let's just, let's, let's say that. Where'd that portal come from? What the hell? Back up to speed now. Oh, the portal was from the egg. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. stuff all right so we have plenty of opportunities here i think we'll, i think we'll be okay it's my lock three Oh, right. I don't have the other item anymore. Oh, yeah. Okay. Another mom's contact run. Oh god, that's such a strong item. Well played.
Float, my guy. What's up? I know, Hakomis. It's one of a. Uh, it's very fun to do. It's a, a cool little hack. Top 10 tricks. Isaac fans don't want you to know. So, show of hands, who would be interested in seeing a Mass Effect playthrough in the near future? Make a poll? No, show of hands is fine. My my actions are, are pretty much predetermined. I saw a TikTok actually yesterday about demands on stream and uh i found a very very enlightening lung bubbles thank you very much for the raid welcome hello if you are new here my name is McQuee. i stream fucking every single day almost for the last 83 at least for around about 10 hours a day we play indie games and roguelikes the, the occasional triple a big budget sci-fi rpg release not naming any names though. Oh, no, 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 Spatch. I, w I wasn't. I wasn't coming for you with that comment. No, no, no. It was specifically about the games people play, and the response from the creator was that, um, like, it's it's your stream. Do whatever makes you happy. At the end of the day, right? You just got a shirt in the mail. The black beard on grey version. Oh, Jastly, if you don't mind, you don't have to, of course, but if you don't mind, can you post a picture of that in um, in Discord? That'd be really cool. Oh, thanks, Bot. Your timing could not have been better. There is a Sci-Fly t-shirt coming, by the way. Um, the, I think the designs are done. Miss Queeb's just making sure that the materials are available or, or something. Uh, yeah. Bleh. Oh, I got you too, huh? Oh. Come back. Apparently something else uh, is happening as well, and, and I don't I don't know if it's I don't usually try to seek drama out, right? Um, and I don't I don't know what the story was behind this. I didn't witness it happen, but apparently some creators are having to put up with their audience asking them. Let's say, for example, during the event, right? Um, their audience asking them, um, 
how much of that earnings, right, whatever that means in in total, in total, uh, are going to be donated to charity. Charity shaming, I believe, is the term. That's a really fucked up thing to do. Oh. What do we need? Three charges. Just clap back and ask them the same thing? Well, yeah. Ask me that question. My answer? Zero. Unfortunately. Because I need to pay my rent. I would definitely love to do a... Uh, to do a charity event, but I'm not in that position yet. Who does my merch? Um, I think it's called Printful. Is the so it's weird. Printful was the best quality we could find. There may be better out there, but so far Printful was. Here's the thing: it's not easy to set up. Um, we have to pay up front for anything ordered. We get reimbursed once. Everybody takes their fees. So we pay Printful. We pay Shopify for, for a front end, I guess. Um, yeah, on merch, I, I barely make anything. In fact, during December, when we had the 20% discount code, I lost on every sale. Um... But I, I just wanted to... I, it's marketing for me. Like, I want to get my name out there and I want a quality product, so... Win! Boom, put it up. Streamers earn a lot of money, so they gotta donate money? I, I don't know where this idea comes from. Over the, over the event... I'll, I'll, let's let's do a little bit of transparency since we're talking about it. What did we hit? We hit 900 subs, I think, for December. That was just for the event, right? So starting December 1, I started counting. Currently, we have 943 subscribers. Couple, couple of T3s, couple of T2s in there. My rent is $2,300 a month. It's gone up. Thanks, landlord, by 100 bucks. Um... My earnings for December will just cover rent. Just. Oh, sorry. Not including taxes that I have to pay. The one thing that doesn't take into consideration is um, direct tips. Because that's not, that's sort of through PayPal. And we did have a few very generous people um, through December as well. Uh, so when I say... You know, like, 2k subs is kind of like what I'm trying to hit. I'm not, I'm not living it up here. <laughs> um, the Believers, congratulations. You are successful. Slow learner, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it, man. Um, and by the way, that was not... This is, this is just me being fully transparent. This is not me asking for money or anything. This is free content. You do not have to participate if you do not want to. I think it's because they look at ultra big streamers and generalize that over everybody else. It's easy to do, right? Um, I saw a streamer the other day. They had an, a number on screen. And it's not their follower account because they're in the hundreds of thousands or, or even over that. Um, and it was like 40, 40k subs. I'm not going to name names or anything, but um, yeah, if we were earning that, then how much am I going to donate donate to charity? Probably a fuck ton. 
because I don't I don't need that money. I don't that's that's silly money to me. Anyway, apparently that's a thing. Please don't please don't ask a streamer what they're going to be donating to charity if they're holding an event. That's that's silly. Um, all right, let's start a new prediction. Will McQueeb win the next run? Queeb to 40k subs in 2022. I don't need it. I don't I don't need it. <laughs> I want to be able to support myself, Ms. Queeb, my snakes, my dogs, have a roof over our head and our debts paid. That's it. That's all I want. Lung bubbles, thank you, dude. Money's always stressful. It's so funny. I I'm obsessive compulsive. Um It doesn't present itself in, in physical manifestations. Like I don't need to wash my hands or anything like that. Um, but I worry about everything. Money happens to be top of that list, but very like, so, so I'll give you another example. Um, every night I go to bed, I double check all of the snakes enclosures to make sure that, because we cover them in sort of blankets as well to keep the light out. Um, And I make sure that like nothing's touching metal, right? If there's a candle burning in the house, that that one thought will remain in the back of my mind no matter what. Now, we're going to take care of it. Even the worst... I don't know. I'm, I'm always concerned about something and I just I just want to stop stressing. But money's, money's always number one. It has been forever. If it's a charity event, you feel it's fair to ask. Otherwise, the answer is 0% and fuck off. <laughs> I guess that's what FO means. Um, well, I mean, if, if I did a charity event, I'd have a, I'd have a little ticker at the bottom of the screen, right? I'd, I'd make it fancy, but... Again, it's something I'd like to do. It's just not something I, I can at the moment. Did I start the prediction? I didn't. Get McQueeb to the front page, right? <laughs> yeah. Primo Isaac content. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Uh, Crawbird, thank you for the gifted sub as well. Dude, thank you very much. D20 sub, three health. Sub, D20 start. Jesus Christ. Uh, decent speed, terrible fucking tears. Terrible tears. All right. And the occasional shot. No, wait. Is that the one where I take a hit and a little dude spawns? I think it is. Okay. Does Twitch even have the option for charity events? So here's the deal, Panthenos. Um, if, if I did a charity event, I would do it through Tiltify. And I would say, if you want to give, give through that link. Therefore, I don't pay taxes twice. Um, uh, because I see a lot of people doing their own charity events, right? And they'll say X amount goes to this charity, but they'll take subs and, and bits and tips. But what they don't realize is that they have to pay tax on that first before they can give to charity. Is that charity a write off potentially at the end of the year? That's for your accountant to decide, but anyway, let me, let me get back to it here. Yeah, this, uh, this tier rate is, is a killer. Right, little dudes. Okay, cool. Sad Bombas. Cool, I love it. Oh, I love it especially. This could be good. Oh boy. Hell yeah. Cat template. Dude, thank you, man. 
I I didn't bring all of this up just for just just for uh, as a sales pitch at all. Um, it's one of those things that I, I like talking about because it's Twitch and I like the business of Twitch and I like streaming um, and and all, all of that. I'm a big sucker for numbers. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you always, Cat. Hmm. What if I blew this up? And then did that. about this for a sec. Hmm. One solely. Ace of spades. Okay. Let's grab that and grab I don't even need that. Eight poison farts, brown creep. Trail of seven butt bombs. Hmm. Alabaster box has so much sentiment. What, what do you mean? Most charity events you've seen are in conjunction with the charity and people provide a link. Yeah. Yeah, Tiltify is a platform specifically for that. Um, and hello, Link. Hello. You hate that the donation machine blows up? I don't. I think it's great. Otherwise, we'd be here forever. I'd burn through a ton of cash for no reason. And uh, it makes your decisions much more meaningful. I think it's, I think it's one of the best changes. And the fact that there's 300 coin in there, like I would be getting worried right about now normally, but um, no, we, that'll last me fucking months. Brings back memories of counting soul hearts on the floor. We, there was that one run, yes. <laughs> that was not good. Oh boy. Okay. I doubt we're going to get another full charge. Um... No, it's unlikely. Big money. Uh, thank you, Crawbird, by the way, for the link. I will check that out. Um, if we do change merch providers, it'll be the company that Ms. Queeb and her friend are starting. We're going to do everything in-house, hope, hopefully.
Oh, do we have a hype train? Shit, I completely missed it. It's me not paying attention again. Thank you, folks. I can't stand these guys. Thank you, dude. Cheers, man. Am I gonna have my own clothesline like everybody else? Barely. Um, I, I, I would like just... If, if you see something on the merch store, it's either something that I would wear or something that Ms. Queeb would wear. <laughs> I just like having stuff with, with the logo on it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, let's get out of here. I ain't, I ain't taking, uh, I ain't taking that too much of a risk. This sucks. I might not have enough. Oh shit. I might not have enough crowd control here. That works. Sad bombs was a fucking epic pickup. More bombs. Okay. Now oh, that's it, huh? Full suit beanies. It looked good. <laughs> You wear the zipper ho hoodie a lot. I I like this one. I, this shirt's really comfortable. This has been washed. The reason we we buy the merch one we get it. I think a little bit cheaper. What that, Miss Queeb? No way. I have to I have to show you this. She got me a Valentine's present. We we do things a little bit differently. Oh, it's okay. It's not functional. No. Okay, check this. No, 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 good. I'm glad you didn't. They break. It is a ceramic. Um, it's just a jar. But it's a jar that looks like a, a candy machine. And it's filled with Smarties. Smarties in Australia are very different. They're called rockets. Rockets? rockets? No. What are they called? Smarties. Hmm? We don't have rockets. So the the closest I would say in Australia these would be would be like fruit tingles. But n no, these are chalky and plain fruit tingles. Actually, have like different. Well, like, I like, take it back. Oh shut up! <laughs> Thank you. I love it. Um, I will put it where the Christmas tree is. You can sit over there. Okay. No, Thank you, baby. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Smarties are similar to M&M's. Yes, they're crispier than M&M's. Um, different, just a different flavor of chocolate, but essentially, yeah. Monies. I should have fucking rolled that room. Oh well. Am I from Australia? I am. Yes. Yeah. Long, long time ago. Another life. It's not that long. It's like 12 years ago I left Australia.
actually almost exactly 12 years yeah. Canadian Smarties are M&Ms where am I now Los Angeles I moved here like every other uh, wannabe actor. that store first was the queen family on the original prison ships to Australia so my dad's from Europe <laughs> but no he came over he emigrated when he was I think a teenager maybe I, I don't know my dad passed earlier last year so um I didn't, didn't really get a chance to follow up with a lot of questions. Uh, Mum's still alive, but she she was born in Australia, I think. Yeah. Pretty sure. Oh, Stone, and it's it's good, brother. It's fine. Apparently, and I only found this out. Um, at the time of, of his death, he had Alzheimer's. So I'm kind of glad that he's gone. I know that sounds weird. Um, but it beats the alternative. He was too proud to tell me himself. That that makes me a little sad. But nah, it's fine, dude. It's all good. In a better place, they say. I really like the nightlight. People need to be more accepting of the fact that death is a better option sometimes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, I don't disagree. Okay, dude. You good? It's my tear rate, isn't it? I'm not sad enough, so he's gonna fucking make me sadder. I don't know why exactly I just activated that card. What's done is done. Ah, shit. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Let's see what we can do with this. Wait, where'd that tear rate come from? Divorce papers as the tears up? Oh shit. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Okay.
Oh yeah, okay. Divorce papers. My divorce was one of the happiest days of my life. So, um, I can't relate. Bedilla, hello, welcome. Hope you're having a great day, my friend. Uh. Well, nothing much going on here, huh? Did I try there? activate that before I waste another bomb. Okay, next floor. Divorce is a religious thing? No. No, no, no. No, not at all. Divorce is the, the breaking of a contract. It's as simple as that. I think it's frowned upon in religious societies. I think. Again, no experience. I'm, I'm an atheist, so... It doesn't really apply here, but... I think it's looked down upon. Good evening, good evening. Well, if it's worth saying once, say it again. A very difficult divorce process. In Christianity, at least. Difficult divorce process. Ah, shit. Ed, please. Shit. Not want to have a sack room right here, bruh. But I needs it. I needs it. Oh my god. Like you can't just say, well, we're divorcing. It's not allowed. Yeah, I I don't know. That's that's a comp like I, I believe in everyone's right to to believe what they want, right? Um I would never judge someone for that. Uh, but it, it, I think it can be, yeah. It, let's, let's not get into it, I guess. Casual divorce conversation with playing Isaac? Dude. Isaac's all about the hard-hitting questions. Thank you. 
Okay, we should be able to we should be able to play out. The uh we should be able to play out the the sack room here, I think. I think I think we got some plays. Are they new coin pickup sounds? Yeah, I'm running three coin mods. Uh, mods, mods, mods. Uh, one of them is the visual look of of the coins. They're they're different. I think it's called uh, like better coins or something like that. Then there's the sound, which is Warrior Land Four sounds or something. I don't know. Um, and then there's rising pitch, which is where you pick up multiple in a row and the pitch goes up. But that's for all sounds, not just, um, not just coins. But it is such that you need to pick up a lot of items in a row and it, the cooldown is very fast. So, um, if you don't maintain picking items up, you, it, it does go down eventually very fast again, so... Yeah, I like to keep a little little spreadsheet of all the mods that I use. Uh, that that came about just because a lot of people were asking for it. Ugh. Fuck! Fuck! Cool room, love it. That was a lie. I don't love that room at all. Alright, let's start playing this. Get the job done. That still goes last, doesn't it? Yeah, let's not use that. Actually, how does that work? Got the 33 orb boss kill in Noita. Thanks to my vids? Fuck no, dude. That was all you. Congrats, that is, uh, that is a huge accompli uh, accomplishment. Well done, well done. That is, yeah, that's tough. Later, Panthenos. Take it easy, dude. Look at all my little guys. Pikmin. That's a good game. I haven't played that in forever. I don't have a Nintendo product right now, so I don't think I can, but that was that was good. Little puzzle game. Okay, let's wait on that. See if we can get some more. Oh. Does anyone like that mushroom? Oh, I'm sure somebody does. It ain't this guy. Did anyone get down with a game called Lemmings? You know, you know the answer to that question. In fact, there was a no clip documentary on DMA De Designs and the origins of Lemmings that just went up recently.
It was a re-upload, but I never saw it the, the first time, so... Anyway, I was very excited because I I liked that, that channel. Uh, we need one more, don't we? Let's check that store one more time. Lemmings 2 was underrated. They mentioned that in the video, actually. They don't use the term underrated, but they said it it was not the critical success that Lemmings 1 was. And they actually explained why that was as well. Never heard of Lemmings? Don't blame you. It was a uh, a '90s video game, mid mid '90s at that. But it was it was fucking massive. Um, somewhat of a cultural phenomena. Does anyone remember Scorched Earth? Talking about um, worms. Scorched Earth used to make the little blips, blips and beeps was um, something else. All right, so we either get Solis here, which would be great, or we get 30 coins, which would be phenomenal. Let's go. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it was on. It was all done on PC speaker. Did did it ever get like a sound card upgrade? I don't think it. Well, at least I never heard it. God, the first time I heard Wolfenstein 3D on a sound card, mind blown. Games will not get better than this. Spoilers, they did by a little bit, and it came with um. Wasn't much better. Oh no no no! It was it was massive different. Came the sound card that I got came with these little black, plastic tinny shit speakers. But fuck me, they they do the job. Perfect. Take all the hits. That there be my first needle. Still remember getting excited over 56k dial-up? Yeah. <laughs> Same. Same. I do, I do love... Like, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit older, whatever. Oh, I didn't need to even pick that up. But I do love the fact that I, I got to see pretty much every stage of home personal computing. That's, that's a, it's a good feeling. I am out of beverage. One moment. BRB. Actually, let me run a quick commercial break too. Apologies, but uh, get rid of those pre-rolls as well.
Thanks for waiting, folks. Yo, Donkey Jim. Thank you for the gifted sub to Link. Oh, interesting, King. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing that I used to do. I used to be a lot more active. Um, it's not the case anymore. D20, not that exciting at the moment, huh? if we can make it exciting. What floor are we on? Caves 2. Wow. Still early days here. Oh, shit. Help. These guys carve up. They're pretty good. I go in there. Let's try a bomb first. Nice. Yeah, D20 truly shines on uh, greed mode. Pretty, pretty boring during normal runs. RL Laser. Dude, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Two months. In the bank. It should take... That first, right? For the blues, I mean. All right, we got we got some play here. Ah, shit. We just drop this over here. Blow that up. Sure. For some reason I thought I had the Polaroid. Obviously I did not. enough money chief
No, Videa. I don't know if they ever did. I do not remember a time you could re-roll empty chests. Oh, before repent repentance, you could. Right on. I stand. Uh, I stand corrected. So many pills. going to be a shop isn't it fight is most assuredly going to be a shop or the shop rather it's going to be a fight go use this again before we knock off any more rooms here for a holy card. Baby Bender. I wonder if homing works. It shouldn't matter with these guys. These guys are programmed to run up fairly close, but try to avoid damage anyway. Yeah, it works. My ability to avoid damage doesn't, though. Yeah, that's kind of useless with these guys, but you never know. House of Kentai, world's famous teas and beverages. How are you, my dude? Yes. Okay. Only on caves too.
bunch of like utility items nothing fancy yet well this is kind of cool Dubster. Let's say chub. I meant Chad. Again. Little bit of cleanup, but we're essentially done here. We do have another reroll here as well. Scotty Ray Ray. No sweat, dude. Happy to have you here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Is Isaac music that? This is, um, I believe, Melfina can probably confirm or deny. I think this is from Anti-Birth. It's an Anti-Birth mod. Soundtrack mod. If you pick up a whole heart to fill half a heart, when you have a, an item like Candy Heart or the Locket here, do you get the full value or only the half value? It's an interesting question. Isn't Repentance basically anti-birth? Uh, yeah, they hired the devs of anti-birth. There's a lot of similar content in there for sure, yep. Much more polished from what I've heard. Okay, that's a start. 
Room's too small. Justice. Ah. I'm gonna just stay here. Be better. Golden bomb. You just fucked up, game. You just fucked up. Get full hearts first, obviously. You get a few more here. Uh, no, not worth. Okay. Ah. Arcano. Press. Lovers. Love it. One pocket. Hmm. There's a play there. Why did pop? Uh, I think it's good question. Not sure. charges I am big sad that's it oh damn okay well Keeps count of how many hearts you had when you picked it up, and it pops when that number drops, or something like that. Ah, okay. Right on. I think that's all I can do. I mean, we could try pills, but... Yeah, I think 
that's it. Pretty sure we're winning this one. Honestly, we haven't picked up all that much, really. I mean, con uh, consumer wise, sure. Mm. A special key could drop in here, right? But it did not. Shit. Did I at least see a lucky coin? No. Damn. Okay. Nothing. it that's the final the final play right there I should definitely pick this up huh Ninety-nine exactly. How good is that? All right. Got the emperor. What was the other strength, right? No, that's long gone. Sag. Look away for two minutes and I break the room. I mean, yeah. I still look for a crawl space. Skipping tears. I agree. I like it. Ugh. I'm gonna find it. It's gonna be here one day. Check this room as well. I don't even know if the um, if a crawl space can be in this location.
That's it. Let's get out of here. Alright, pay attention to the cutscene. It's the, the poopy thing again. Shit, what is that? I, I, I can't it, I can't remember what it is. Casually challenged, dude. How are you, man? The pooter follower? That's flight. Have I ever told you? They get wings now, look at them! Oh, that's cute. Okay, we got another room we can maybe re-roll there. Compost. Oh shit. Oh, we're fine. Sun card, dope. Synth, hello to you, my friend. What's going on? room for now. Maybe I'll take that nickel though. Just got home from late ship at work to put up new signs and displays. That's cool. That is a big pill, huh? See if we can find a smaller one first. Ah, uh, well, now I don't need... I can see... Uh, sorry, the moon, rather. Oh, is that is that something you do? January 1st, you put up... Yeah, it makes sense. Put up new signage. Wow, did not look like that. I'm really glad I, I came in here. It looked like the diaper trinket. That's what I thought it was. It can't be that obviously, but. We got, we got a couple of Starbucks people. I got a bone to pick with Starbucks. Miss Queeb went out today. She says, do you want anything on my way home? And I said, you know what? I'd really love a Starbucks 
coffee and their croissants are fucking dope as shit so i'm like i'd love some starbucks she said send me your order i said okay I said venti toffee nut frappuccino i said if they quote unquote don't have that half caramel half hazelnut everybody at starbucks knows this it's not a, it's not even a fucking secret menu thing whatever uh, I normally get no whip, but you know what? Today I was feeling adventurous and I had a few hours before stream, so if I did need to go to the restroom... Hey, I got a couple of hours. It's fine. They don't have any croissants. Okay, fine. No problem. I'm really excited about the coffee. I couldn't sleep, and I thought, you know what? I'll just... I'll power through, and... And I'll, I'll be about my business, and uh, everything will be great. Miss Queep text me. They don't have any syrup and I said oh okay well what about the caramel uh hazelnut she said no 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 you don't understand they don't have any syrup and I was like what why open the doors I said what about a, a white chocolate mocha that is a powdered hot drink um I didn't even get into that conversation with Miss Queeb she reiterated the fact she they didn't have syrup and she was obviously annoyed she said, um, I can go to another Starbucks. I said, you know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm good. Is it powdered? Actually, you guys can answer that question. Either way, uh, coffee this morning didn't happen. I was bummed. I was, I was genuinely bummed. I was really looking forward to that. Got it. White mocha is not powdered. So I'm thinking of uh, what's your competition? The other the other place does the powdered version, which is also very good by the way. Uh, either way, the white the white chocolate mocha is very nice as well. I prefer the hot the hot drink, but yeah. That's it. I'm a I'm a man of simple tastes. Diagnosed my problem. I didn't order tea. When I was sick, I used to get two croissants and uh, peppermint tea from Starbucks. That was my, that's my when I'm sick and drink and food choice because I can actually stomach that. I just drink my coffee black. Well, it's good. You gotta have you gotta have what you like, right? There will be no coffee snobbery in this channel, by the way. We don't shame anyone for their drink of choice. Ordinary. How low? How are you? Where to leave those coins? It's all down here, right? I kind of want to grab that pill. What if it's bad though, Queeb? What if it's real bad? I think black coffee's vile. Personally, I, I would never drink it black. Oh, I'm one cent shy. So you guys would be the ones to go to, to get, um, seasonal, aka Halloween cups or, or, uh, tumblers, right? We'll work something out. This creep's got a thing for, 
for tumblers. She likes the real pretty ones, sparkling ones. The, there's a, a black shiny one that was like had this like cracked pattern on the outside. I don't think she was able to get it. We done here? I think we're done here. I'm I'm bored of this floor. Let me clear. D D twenty is very bleh. M&M flavored creamer. Hmm. If we let you know ahead of time. Oh, I mean, I. That's it. it does it exist? Yes. Uh, Ms. Queeb will take it. Happy to pay, obviously. We don't just out of pocket there. Halloween is kind of her. That's her Christmas. Good evening to you, Silent Soldier. How you doing? Poopy. Kind of want to get rid of, uh, kind of want to get rid of the D20. It's just. Eh. Irish cream coffee mate creamer was good, but they discontinued it. I, um, I was drinking for a while almond milk, just straight almond milk with a tiny amount of um, I'm not sure what it was called. It was probably like vanilla or no ice cream. It tasted like ice cream. Really good. You can't have too much though, because it it will make you feel a bit a bit bloated. Look at these stats, Queeb, they're pathetic. Ooh, not much I can do about it, Queeb. I know, Queeb, I know. What else is on the gaming menu? I haven't decided. Like, there's always Hades, right? We could possibly do that. But I picked up, um... I went ahead and picked up, uh... Mass Effect Trilogy last night. I'm tempted to fucking jump into that. Oh, I never did take that big pill from the previous floor. Oh, whatever. Have I tried CDDA? Somebody... Don't use acronyms because I, I won't get it. Um, somebody mentioned that yesterday and I had to ask what it is and I'm going to have to ask you again. Um, Crusader? Dark Days Ahead? Crusader? Something like that. Bottle. 
Wow, we are on a roll here. Cataclysm Dark Gate Days Ahead. Is that the one where you can ride a motorbike and it's a zombie apocalypse? Did we get Skatol? We got Skatol already, didn't we? Dwarf Fortress times Project Zomboid. No, I haven't and I probably won't. Well, that's just, this is our chance to do the D20 thing, Queeb. I'm going to put together a list of games that I have played, maybe. It's actually a lot of work. But sites like, uh, sites like Twitch Tracker make that very easy, um, or easier. And then on top of that, I might put links to their archive in the VOD channel. And then we can also have the, we can incorporate the, the financial support thing that I was talking about earlier as well in the same document. I don't even know what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not into survival games, um, even a little bit. We played, we started playing Breath Edge the other day. As soon as I learned there was crafting in it, I stopped playing. Has Queeb played Name of Game? I would need a custom bot for that. That would be pretty cool. Um, but like, look at Frag's channel, for example. He he has commands for like specific games. Um, much like my, I don't know, my Neuter command, for example. Um, I'm not gonna do that. That's just a mess of commands at that point. Frag, ha Frag has a games list. Oh, right, okay, well, there you go. That's, yeah, that's much better. Google Docs, similar to the to the mods one, would be easy, and then people can search that. No sweat, Daybreakers. I don't even know if this dude can pay out a second time. It's a lot of stuff to re-roll. This will be the last time I use... D20, I'm a bit bored of it. Suggest and link where each command goes. We paid out with something. Okay, that's fine. Frag's bot, um, I think was coded for him, and it's, uh, it's an older bot, um, but it's still very functional. You see Prixie updating, updating commands all the time. Alright, that'll do. I'm done. Very lame.
got two sun cards there? Hmm. We do. Well, in that case, Jesus. Where was that? Back here. Used to be called Gruberbot. Don't remember the name of it now. Um, yeah, it certainly serves its its function. I'm I'm obviously using a, an off the shelf solution here. Um, but no, that they've they've done a great job with it, and they've they've sort of fine tuned it to the point where it's 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 become more functional over time. Thank you. I don't even need the sun card. Wow. Okay. Another speed up. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, no, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's one thing I have to remember. I like I like playing with stuff. Um, and I'll play with it until it breaks, and then I'm like, well, shit. Spend an entire day trying to get it back the way it was. Do I know any programming? Uh... I used to be a web developer, a front-end developer, but no, I would say no, I don't. Programming is one of those things, if you don't use it, you lose it. Oh man, nothing but the finest for me. Tears and damage have not shifted for the game? My resume is very varied, um, but it's it's mostly centered around tech and production. This is dangerous. That'll do. Look at me. I am the mushroom now. Missing no would be very funny. Probably help us, to be honest. flying though. That would make me very sad.
So yeah, tonight I was thinking uh I was thinking we could start Mass Effect. Yeah, start with the ME1. Build a, a character, maybe go a uh, Renegade. Since I do like being mean occasionally. Punching news reporters in the face. Or we could go Hades. Um, I, I'm going to add Risk of Rain 2 onto my rotation as well. I want to get good at that. I'm pretty bad at it. But I don't feel like doing that tonight. A bad fem ship? Call it Mizqueep. Oh, I'm sorry. That's badass. Them shit. Miss Quib, you here? That was a compliment. No? Okay. Got your highest win for both fists and the shield. You told me about the fists run. You did that last night, right? Yeah, this is just a very average run. Nothing exciting going on here. Me the wrong way, you sent me the wrong way. Shit. Get, um, can can you romance Rex? I can't remember. Yeah, Nightlight's not amazing with bullet hell bosses. Not at all. Oh, we got a library. Okay, okay. Golden Troll Bomb, alright. Not what I had on my 2022 bingo card.
close. Well, see, now you go give me one of those. Romance tally and then oh. rough. That's uh, it's a little extreme. Like we're renegade, we're not evil. We'll get the job done. That would be a step. Uh, that would be a step too far, I think. Something. There's no... This might be asking way too much, but there's no Twitch integration feature or mod for... Mass Effect, is there? Because that'd be really cool. Oof, my damage. Twitch plays Mass Effect. dollar here. I'll do it. Don't need money. That's all I want, just two of those. Maybe a better trinket? Curved horn? Cur yeah, okay. I would like a curved horn. Have you guys seen the Twitch Plays FTL thing? It's awesome. So clever. Being able to pull off a game like FTL or even Pokemon or, you know, anything, any, anything that you see on, on Twitch is, uh, that's wild to me. With trolls, especially. I mean, you, you need to you need to have some kind of um, system where majority rules. Otherwise, it's just chaos. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll do. Let's go.
Damn, I'm gonna have to go back. Taking too much damage. Oh, shit. Depending on the outcome of this run, we could do another one and then uh, then maybe hit up some Mass Effect after that. Sounds pretty good. Give me give me brain worm back. I'm gonna regret not taking. Uh, not taking Baby Bender. I just know it. I have a feeling there's a couple of a couple of familiars coming. Lucky last. Nope. Oh, what's that? That is no good. All right. Let's go. Okay. Okay. It's pretty good. Um, let's head this way. I just got a feeling. That was wrong. The wrong feeling. Two wrong feelings in a row. Six point five luck. Let's do a little more clearing. Yeah, punch him. Get another four chests. And I think the way the chest situation works here is if you've already... Uh, what am I trying to say? If you've already opened a chest, even if you re-roll, you cannot get the same item again. Like, it's still the same run, technically, if you 
restart a floor. That's what I'm trying to say. We got there in the end. Wow. Alright. We'll, we'll do it. Ah! Golden battery seems good. Take damage. Gross. That sound never gets old. It's like a, a Hollywood action movie punch. It's amazing. There we go. Mike Tyson's punch out. The sound of two stakes slapping together. Mm. No, this one sounds very digital. No, that's that's definitely not two stakes. Six point five luck, this is the best we can come up with. Boy oh boy. Those those slapping stakes. Oh, we going the wrong way. We do have the full heal if we need it too, so I think I think we're gonna be okay. Hey. Okay.
Ah, Loki. Trickster. Yeah, Nightlight, I don't think I'll take any more. That's, that's on my shit list right now. Like, it hasn't been horrible, but a couple of occasions we've made worse because of it. I only took it because we were on Curse of the Blind and I just went for it. What's up, Zoe? What, what's the matter? Huzzah! Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. All right, one more run before we before we change over to something else. We'll do another. We'll do another. I mean, I'm in a good mood. It's amazing how deflated you can feel after a bad run, though. Back up to 48 tokens. Oh my god, it's happening. Great haircut. Shit stats. The stars. It's an okay item. And a dime? What are you doing here? It's weird. Yeah, with Wafer, we might have a decent chance at playing, uh, even with low health, playing um, sack rooms. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Converter and a Soli, huh? Hmm. If you lose enough as Eden, you just lose a token. A win is essential. Well, beating mom's heart is breaking even. That's it. That item, that's what... So when we see that, it's Play-Doh Cookie. Even if that's cash, like, I'm not going to be able to get all of it.
Yeah, the stats are, are really bothersome. Low tiers and low damage. Question is one item delayed until next month, dude. That's awesome. I saw that they were ordered. Um, but I don't have tracking on that, so it's weird that you have uh, the delivery estimate that I don't. I, I gotta look more into it, but uh, yeah, really appreciate it. be good here this is the smart play yeah try to get that planetarium and actually pay attention as well potentially three rooms we might be able to bomb into okay we'll see how we go just a me an estimate of... Oh, okay. Okay. Fuck. Would I prefer if Eden... Eden, if the overall stats had to hit within a certain total spilt over everything that is, or do I prefer the possibility of both of super low and a super high roll? It's very risky in its current form. Um, I think I would prefer more evenly distributed stats. This fight is not going to be fun. And nothing. Fuck. a secret room and a bomb and a key and a coin it's, uh, let's try this if we can get this first actually let's pick that up first thank you very much
Two soulies. The fact that you can start with one health. That's probably the only thing I would like to see within a better range is, is the health. Um, it's, it's fucking awful right now. But that just means you gotta be good. Try, try harder, be better, bigger number. No converter. I would like it, but it's okay. Uh, well, actually, Super Secret Room can only be one location. Nope, two. Two locations. And I got this pill, too. What are you? Not too bad. Pretty bad. No health and just soul hearts. What was that? Was Akeldama? I think. Or was it Worm Friend? I don't know. If it's Worm Friend, it's a yes. If it's Akeldama, uh, is good, but it we can pass. Fucking hell. Blech. What's the first item's name? Oh, what is it? Uh, revenge... Trail. I don't know. I, I think I would still much rather two solis compared to one red. That's... Well, I mean, depending on if you hit a champion or not, but that's... Four hits as a best case scenario versus two. Um... Become almost there. Come on. Backstabbing knife attacker. Yeah, if we take damage, um, oh, you've probably seen it already, but every enemy in the room gets uh, charmed. It's actually very helpful. Hopefully we won't have to rely on it, though.
<laughs> Want to find that store, man? Thank you. Ah, no, thank you. Okay. Okay. Soon as cover test you could manage was to later today. Buy and eat the pill, we can get a health down. Or uh, or a bad trip. Trying to determine what's the best use of my uh, my health is here. Like, do we roll with? Oh shit, these are two nightmare enemies. Do we roll with uh, the demon beggar? Which could be an interesting play, and would only affect our red health, or. Do we go straight for the sack room since we do have wafer? Either way, we're going to need to replenish, so... Alright, it was Akeldama. I keep forgetting. Um, I'm going to take it, just because it's going to help us more than hurt us, I think. room as well, which can wait. I've got one, well, one and a half hearts. Sands bomb. Ah! I don't think that defends against tears, does it? No, it's just offensive, I think. It's still good. I might take that instead. fight the boss first before we make any decisions. Um, two bombs, huh? One, two, three possibilities. Uh... It's like a spike strip, but for gigantic flies. That was lucky. Defended. Alright, range.
Let's try to check here. All right. Could be. Nice. <sighs> Combos with tier detonator? Good question. I I don't know. Risky. Don't give me a golden bow on this floor, you cowards. some pills see what's what is this the one in the shop Addicted. entirely useless but good to know what it is down right we've taken that one before yeah that was as I can see forever right that's addicted thank you Quick double check if there was a small rock here. I'd absolutely take it, despite that putting us at 0.73. Big sad. Uh... save them all right let's go next floor not feeling hot not feeling hot about this run there we go archerist what's up dude how you doing man great to see you we are taking that that is the frail Okay. Yeah, get him, weird tail. Melting in the 27 degree heat that is your life. Uh, Celsius? Fahrenheit? Or, or some other unit of measurement? Because 27 doesn't sound very warm at all.
27 Celsius is quite hot. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm from Brizzy. 20, 27 degrees would be lovely. So nice. Okay. The average yearly temple you live is sixteen. Oh, okay, wow. Too warm. Okay. How's the streak looking? Well, this run will probably determine my answer to that question. Oh, shit. It's the wrong bone one, but that's fine. I'll still take it. Puts them all on the outside too, you jerk. Oh boy, okay, well. That was a tear rate right up, right? No, nope, tier 8 didn't move. Did I misread? Shot speed. Bombs, nice. When you lose the bone hearts, you gin it. Missing an A, gain it. Tear rate goes up when you lose the bone hearts, and that's permanent. Okay, I see it. I see it. That was calculated.
All it takes is for one rogue champion to fuck up your day. Can't even go into man. Wait, what was my active item in the shop? Got the pocket, and we got oh the key, the key, the right, right, right. Hey Silver, if you're here, you are. You literally just said something. Do you do you want me to do a like an unboxing when the stuff arrives? I think it'd be pretty cool. Oh hell yes, right on, man. <laughs> I thought I'd, I'd better ask first. Some people don't like to, um... Uh, have that attention. This is not going well. Alright, I, I got it. I got it. I got this. I got this. Not there. Not there. It's gotta be... It's gotta be over here. Oh boy. Gelp. Okay, we have another somewhere. What was the other trinky up here? I can also go back into the store. Bombs placed by Isaac explode more quickly. Hmm. Pass. Speed down. Gulp trinket. Bombs are key. Unidentified. Unidentified times two. Speed up. Speed up. What 
What was this one? Hermit. I don't guess where we're going. Didn't even buy it, you fool. Okay. Okay, well, here we go. A little nervous. It's not frail at all. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's the tear cap broken. Fucking hell. Alright. Run saves? Run saves. Still gotta get that damage up, but yeah, yeah, we're good. Chocolate milk. And that fucking idiot. Like, do I wanna swallow the crow's foot? I think we can do better. Shot speed up. We don't have to use it yet. We can wait. Sorry folks, excuse me one sec, I will BRB. I'll run to the restroom. Actually, let me run on another quick commercial. One sec.
Everything okay? Yeah. Oh, did I put it on? Wait, what the hell? Why is it saying starting soon? All right. I got to sort my shit out there. Oh, good. Just a little hunt. Senior Rico rice, by the way. It looks like that. Very good. Get them from supermarkets. Ms. Queeb was chat behaving. Can I explain what the ad break is? You don't see ads because you're subbed. Subscribers won't see ads. When I take a break, I run two minutes worth of ads that disables the pre-rolls for 30 minutes. Pre-roll ad is when you go to a channel that you're not subscribed to, you'll see ads. You don't always see ads, by the way. Um, even if even if you weren't subscribed, you may not get them. Uh, it could be dependent on location. It could be dependent on your web browser. It could be dependent on a number of things. Um, I run them when I take a break so that people don't miss gameplay. That was the that was the biggest thing. As long as they're managed by the streamer, I think they're I think they're okay. I think most people would agree with that. forgot that I had uh, mantle. Nice. free entry into here as well. Oh boy. Okay. All we need is hearts and we can actually play that out. Isaac's head is doing more well not more damage overall but more base damage being shown on your health a mod no that was one of the changes in a recent update
The tier rates definitely, uh, definitely made things a lot easier. Actually, defensively, we're doing very, very well. That's nice, too. Ah, uh, shit. Not chocolate milk. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we can do. Hang on. I don't know why I went in there. I didn't want chocolate milk either. Um, I don't particularly like the chocolate milk in this game. There's one defensive. Oh, it's not even an orbital. Right, of course. Flies. That'll do. So I guess a tear effect would be pretty dope. Um, since damage doesn't seem to be our thing just yet. I gotta go by... I think I'm just gonna buy Diplo. that we get the angel room but if we do I mean even if we get the devil deal if I take a devil deal item but I don't trade health is that still considered locking it in or is that just a freebie I, I can never remember I think it's the trade that counts it it does all right all right does
Cool. Let's get out of here. Okay, we do not want the item room. Good bud. Oops. Judgment. Yeah, I thought there was going to be some major changes in recent patches to do with Devil Deals. Um, did they do anything there? Change the cost of some things, maybe? But it's, it's still not worth. Brimstone doesn't make up for the possi possible good items in uh, Angel Room. Lucky poop gulp worthy at this stage. I say we keep we keep looking around. You know what? I might. I might do it. Yeah. Just to get it off of my off of my plate. God, if we took soy milk now. It would be ridiculously fast, but zero-ish damage. Machine gun loaded with marshmallows. There you go. That's a, a very apt description. I mean, that's essentially what we got going on already. <laughs>
The ability to hit would be good. So like a uh, homing uh, brainworm. That is a lot of brain power. cook up over here got two beggars to choose from He's taking a lot of cash. There we go. Wow. That's uh, delicious food. Oh shit. Infamy has absorbed a ton of damage. We've been hit about four times, four or five times. And not lost any health as a result. Pretty cool. Wow. 
We we need damage. Not health, not tears. We need damage. Play this fire or multiplayer card games? No. Okay. Seven bombs, twelve keys. My tier rate's great. Like, it's exceptional. But we're spitting raspberries here. First damage up I'm, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna dip low. No Diplo? No way. For one, money equals power? Uh, as they say overseas, nine Dunke. Got saved from a hit again. Yep. And again.
Shit, maybe even that's almost worth bees be, uh, diploing the or beezy, beezy bub that we've already got flying. It's only half as useful. I don't need to play this. I'm very concerned. Maybe we should have grabbed the glass of tears. Tried out with the tear trail. Oh, that wouldn't have done anything for that. The exploding tears is a different story. No, the Isaac's tears wouldn't have done anything. That would have given us eight very small tears. Later, Donkey Jim. Our survivability is great. I just can't kill anything. enemies to death we're we're almost there that's that's my problem <laughs> It's 
2.6 damage going into the womb. Wait, I don't care how good your tears are. That's that's fucking horrible. <laughs> awkward moment when your little fly buddy is doing way more damage than you. I missed the, the room reveal. I saw the boss. I didn't get the item room. Actually, my shot speed is making it worse because I keep pushing things out of the way. So it's a very unique situation to be in. Another shot protected right there. I don't think I've carried Diplo this long either. Before. Shoal to get the damage up if nothing else. Sorry, what damage up? The negative? No. No, blue baby's a lot easier than the lamb.
Diplo to the chest wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea either. <clears throat> Come on. Angel or devil, don't care. Let's just see what you got. Fucking hell. It had to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It couldn't be anything else. Um, all right, moving right along. That's going to make a huge difference. It's only one, but that's big. can maybe a stapler in the boss challenge room I would deploy that we have been saved from so many hits infamy is just ridiculous well we ain't getting in there Somewhat regrets taking money equals power. Not taking that. Spectral tears be dope too.
Okay. <clears throat> Let's hope. Well, we'll get one here for sure. And then next floor we'll do it there as well if there's nothing worthy. Hope life is going well for everyone. Nice. Put it away. Nothing amazing. <laughs> All right. Next floor. Joker. Diplo. Double Sacred Heart. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. be it. Shitty champion. Wow. I don't think I've fought this guy before. Wow. Sure wish I could do damage. That'd be cool.
Ah, uh, we've already passed on money equals power. At the time, it didn't make sense to get it. Yeah, I mean, hindsight, right? Uh, but that's okay. It's a good card. Not even a small rock. Look at the damage, it's fucked. Sun card. Oh, okay. Well. Fight Isaac with the strength, and I'll take the sun. Because that, that fight is going to be painful. Manholio? 
Did I pronounce your name right? Yes, looks like it. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for the raid, dude. <sighs> this is fucking bonkers. Oh, the card wears off. Shit, I didn't know it had a limit. What was that, about 30 seconds? I thought it was for the entire room. It's a shame. Maybe that's where Era Walk comes in. Maybe it's the far superior uh, card for that reason. Uh, Manholio, love your name. Uh, How is your stream, dude? What's going on? Okay, let's find some good items. Learning Super Mario 64 speedrun. Feels good to be bad. Fuck you! Fuck. You. The sun. Good. Love it. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Exceptional. So good. God damn, this fucking run. How useless was that? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Some runs just... They... They just... You're up here. And it just... It just... It just destroys you. Pulls you right back down into the pits. Yeah, money equals power would have been essentially everything we needed. I'll take it. Good. Thank God these guys aren't a massive pain.
Hey, well, at least we got a cent, you know? That's, um... That makes it worth it. Yeah, at the time I had like 22 cents. Um, we did have, we did have keepers, uh, not keepers sack. What's it called? Deep pockets. But yeah, there's no way to know you're going to be earning 200 coins before the end of the game, right? Um, and I didn't necessarily want to lock myself into devil deals. Not that that mattered. We, we did get the candle, Tweeb. We did get the candle. That's a, that's a gift horse statement, if ever I've heard one. Jesus. Honestly, the winner of this run, uh, Infamy and, and Mantle. We'd, we'd be long dead otherwise. I think Infamy alone saved me from probably a dozen hits or more. Maybe more. Oh, I work for that. And and the wafer. Right. Thank you, Hobo. Yes, of course. The wait that was first floor. First floor wafer. Uh believers. 83% of you. Nicely done. So who is who is 100 percent against um a little bit of the old uh Mass Effect. Because I'm I'm down. I am excited for Mass Effect. Oh, Miss Queeb is here. Hello, Miss Queeb. Alright, so I just gotta set this up real quick. Give me a sec. Renegade but not evil? That's what I'm thinking. But I'll I'll consult with chat. Spoilers are fine. Don't mind spoilers. I've I've beaten this game a couple of times. All all three of them. Uh huh. Great day to you from France. Hello from France. We're on the west coast of the United States. It's lovely to have you here. Welcome to uh, my European crew. Probably makes up about 50% of my viewership right about now. What should I categorize this as? Since we're going through the whole thing, I guess Legendary Edition, huh? I 
Are there statistics on that? Um, let me have a look real quick. One sec. Channel analytics. Where did my views come from? United States, 51%. Germany, 8%. Canada, 6%. United Kingdom, 4 Russia, 3 Australia, 3 France, 3 Poland, 2 Finland, 2 Sweden, 1 Brazil, 1 Spain, 1 Netherlands, 1 Italy, 1 New Zealand, 1 Oh, we got some got some people from New Zealand here. That's dope. All right, let's let's get it done. Uh, we'll turn our count off. Let's put me on the far right side. Looking good, man. I don't know if we should do controller or what uh, it's not even detecting my controller at the moment Oh, it seems we're not ready. That was just the launcher. All right, one sec, one sec. Now the controller works. Okay, cool. What's in the tank? Yes, we got uh, we got a couple of snacks. People speaking Russian here the other day. Ah, uh, yeah, they they sometimes comes in, and and most of the times it's just like a hello. I, I don't know. Start a new career. This is very light on settings. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Please log in to access your profile. Profile reconstruction complete. Please log in to access your profile. Please log in to access your profile. What the fuck is with this interface? Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. 
Confirm pre-service history. Please log in to access your profile. La oh, last name has to be Shepard. Okay. Well, this is Ms. Queeb. So, <laughs> it's now Ms. Ms. Shepard. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious too. Got it. Warning. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Ah, right, let's have a look. Spacer, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Colonist, you were born and raised on Mindwar, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwar, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing Alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Or Earthborn, you were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Miss Queeb, are you are you on? Are you here? Did Miss Quee be married? No, it's a it's a selected name. She's very independent. She does her own thing. Um, I think Earthborn would be fine. I don't know what these uh, these actually change, but that's fine. We'll go with Earthborn. Psychological profile. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you are alone. Now you alone are left to tell the tale. War hero. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. I did mention that earlier. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Confirm military specialization. So here we go. This is this is our class. Soldiers are combat specialists, ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Soldiers have improved health, can specialize in the use of all weapon types, start with the ability to wear medium armor, and can train in the use of heavy armor. Engineer. Engineer is a tech specialist using the hol holographic Omni tool. They can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. Engineers can only wear light armor, and they specialize in pistols. Adept. Biotic specialists. Through upgradable implants, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects shield the squad and disable or destroy enemies adepts can only wear light armor and they specialize in pistols you're an engineer i think i think adept might be how i go here because some of those shield busting skills you get later are like exceptional infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range, infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools, focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. Focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. That is somewhat tempting. Tell you what, it looks a damn sight better than it did when I first played this game. 
Sentinel combines biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they are they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies. Though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. They are more efficient at tech and biotics than other classes, but at the expense of combat. Sentinels can only wear light armor and receive no specialized weapon training. Or Vanguard. Biotic Warriors. They combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short range. They specialize in pistols and shotguns and wear medium armor. That sounds fun. Vanguard. Mzqueeb Shepard, the Vanguard. Earthborn. Ruthless Killer. Confirm facial identification. Oh god. Yeah, let's just roll with that. Profile reconstruction complete. Miss Shepard? Rex. Here we go. Once you confirm your character is complete, you will be unable to change any settings. Identification confirmed. Combat difficulty normal. Auto level up. Off level scaling. Legendary mode. In classic mode, the original 1 to 60 level range will be used instead of the new 1 through 30 level range. XP and talent point progression remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. Uh... Leave it on legendary, you reckon? Okay. That's fine. Squad power usage, defensive. This we should be able to change later, I think. Subtitles on. Auto save. On. Enable tutorials. Sure. Let's go! That's called a mass relay. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Learn to look out for herself. She got most of her unit killed on Torgner. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was Mass Effect. Check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. God, it looks incredible. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. 
I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Squad screen lets you use your team's talents. A to spend talent points to gain a rank in the selected talent. As you gain levels, you will acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. Toggle helmet. Hmm, can't do that yet. All right, so pistols, shotguns, assault training, tactical armor, adrenaline boost. Throw, lift, lift is dope, lift is fucking amazing, advanced lift, master lift, barrier, warp, lower the target's damage protection, vanguard, biotic protection, pistol and shotgun damage, charm, Opens new dialogue. Intimidate. Since Intimidate scored three, opens new dialogue option. I'll wait on that. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Tell me what that's all. Right. Smart pilots are on a mission. Good pilots are always on a mission. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. Are we on the Normandy? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It'll give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone going to fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. 
The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Oh no. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Hey, gents. Get down! Sorry, you're breaking up. We need... We need... Nah, I didn't catch that last part. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Probably fine. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. You disliked Ashley? More than Caden? Engaging stealth systems. Is that a hand? More or less. <laughs> yeah. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Bye. Nihilus will scout out ahead. Oh, she is Jens? I, I missed Otherwise, that. I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are okay. Point well, point, point taken. <clears throat> Things just got a whole lot more renegade. There we go. There we go. That's better. Give me my lancer. Give me my pistol. Give me my shotgun. There we go. What 
What am I missing here? Which weapons for you? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, okay. My bad. Got it. Well, let's give, I don't know. Let's give that to you. Let's give that to you. And I will do that. There we go. Do we reload? Auto reload? I'll figure that out. Oh, she did the thing where you... It's always annoyed me that they do that in movies. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. Overheats, got it. Medi gel is needed, yes. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm going to check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. So, blue is my shield. Okay, got it. Issue orders, attack your target. Fun fact, doing that to the eyes actually doesn't work. Right away on a real dead body, it takes time for the muscles to relax and not just make them open again. Huh. It, it does give a way for a character to, you know, gain some immediate closure. Um, and then in some weird way, the audience can relate at that moment to, uh, to the person who just lost a, a, a colleague. Is this the first playthrough? This year? Yep. First first one this year. Awesome. I mean, that's gross. So this is another thing that I do from time to time. Imagine when did Mass Effect the first one come out back on Xbox or, or whatever, right? When Whenever that came out. Imagine this, what we're looking at right now, is what that looked like. What we'd be playing right now. I like, I like shit like that. Speaking of, um, generic plug and play monitor. Generic. You're, you're generic. Okay. Very simple.
decade or uh, no, 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 longer than that. It's like 15 years. I keep reloading. Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one who charged your ma'am? I need a status report now. Oh man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth no. Inside the veil in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Fucking Caden's outfit looks sick. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. I've always liked the armor in this. This and Dead Space have amazing armor. Lieutenant Olenko and I will take care of this. Let me come with you, ma'am. The Geth slaughtered my unit. Give me a chance to get even. She knows the area, Commander. And we could use the extra firepower. Good idea. Okay, fine. Come with us. Just don't forget who's in charge. Understood, Commander. You give the orders and I'll follow them. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. I love bacon. They're digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed extend the what? Ruins and monorail. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony. That name again? That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? <coughs> I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the air. <laughs> the weapons look so dinky. Attached to the back. They look... They all fold up into these little... Blip. <laughs> Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Caden's gun. No, no, no. Caden's gun is fine. It's so small that you, you... It's fine. Not a bug. Speaking of... I, I'm, I'm really excited about, about Dead Space, uh, the remake. That's going to be, yeah, we'll be playing that on stream. Faux show. Move out. Mission computer, then go to the squad screen, spend talent points. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Light armor. Scorpion. Breaks down into Omnigel. They've done a lot of work on the UI because this used to be jank as fuck. This looks way different than what I remember. Damage protection, shields, tech biotic. I mean, that's just straight upgrade. Doesn't look the best. It's pretty cool. All right, maybe we should spend some points, huh? So we don't we've only got shotguns and pistols, which is fine. We can we can change our out later. Assault training. Nah, let's get uh When can we get this? Required throw 7 points. Throws enemies away from the caster. Okay, okay. Oh, we need we got three points to spend. Vanguard. Oh, that's just basic upgrades. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Or intimidate. Yeah. Done. Q 
Caden, what do you do? The weapon restrictions go away. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll we'll deal with it. Um. Oh, you're Sentinel too. Okay. Let's get you on healing, huh? Soldier. Mm-hmm. Medium armor. Assault training. He's got two points to spend. Let's, uh, yeah. Frontline warriors are trained with withstand physical punishment, increase health, and health regeneration. Okay, we'll keep it simple. High explosive hammerhead rounds. I don't think we need that just yet. Can I sprint? Is that a thing? I think that's where I came from. Auto level up for the win. <laughs> Feeling angry tonight? Well, not yet. <laughs> PC sprint is spacebar? What? <laughs> this is actually fine sensitivity wise. Use. It is fucking weird. There we go. Right here, it must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Let's get moving. Williams. I'm going to treat camp. Ashley like Just shit. On the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. That's, that's where we're going to get most of our renegade points from, right there. <laughs> Striker pistol, huh? Heats in capacity. One second accuracy rating. Just a little bit more damage? Nah, skip. Okay. It feels very close to the character. I don't know what it is. It feels um, slightly different than other games.
So we're like full auto until it overheats. Okay, I got it. If any squad member has the required talent, you will be able to unlock the object using description or electronics interface or by spending Omnigel. Advance to the central core, use L button to move around the ring. Press A and B to move inward and outward. Avoid the security programs. Oh, uh, okay. Don't quite get it. Fucking hang hacking mini games, man. Ugh. Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry. Close the door before they come back. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He could have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. There's patches to remove them from the games? I would like a link to that, Polly, if, if you have one. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. Oh, Manuel's gonna get a slap. The battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then Wake up, man. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please, this isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius. He's and standing are right there. Of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. <laughs> oh my god! What did you do? <laughs> that might have been... <laughs> You can't just go around whacking people in the head. Mm. It was only a matter of time till we did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Anyone else having difficulty hearing the game? I can bump the audio a little bit if you need. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Cool. <laughs> Oh, 
This is brilliant. Game of the year. That's a bad guy. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Well... The gun, it overheats. Assault rifle, Banshee, human armor, Phoenix. I'm going to be doing this every single time we find something, right? So more damage, lower, lower, all right. Oh, we've got tech biotic protection higher on the Phoenix. Let's at least have a look at it. I don't know. We'll sell it all. Whatever. Okay. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Punch him. Is it safe? Are they gone? Nobody moves a muscle until we know who you are. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should have stayed hidden. It's okay. We're all on the same side here. We're just farmers. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. ME3 mod manager and go to Nexus mods. A hack removal patch called Skip Minigames. And it works on all three? All right, right, cool. Let me briefly screenshot that. One sec. Nice, thank you. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. It's not a bad beanie. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. 
Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just... I just knew there were some packages here. Something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. I'm only gonna ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh... No, no wait. I just remembered. <laughs> I, I just had it in my pocket. Might as well take that too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Would you rather be a snitch? Fucking a hell. Powell. His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. That's all I know, really. So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? I have to go. Good luck. Stinger 2 combat sensor weapon upgrade. Oh, shit. That's fucking amazing. And then we have some kind of weapon upgrade as well. I see it's just a massive list, huh? Let's have a look. How do we... Upgrade the stuffs. Omni gel. Equip. Level. Sort. Not codex. Got to be equipment. Details. Maybe it's not for that. Or maybe we can't do that at all yet. We'll worry about it later. Give me the cash! Skill too low. Eden Prime will never be the same again. It used to be beautiful here. Shut up, Ashley. Codex under weapons. Combat kinetic barriers, more commonly called shields, provide protection against most mass accelerator weapons. Whether on a starship mm -hmm. or a soldier's suit of armor, the basic principle remains... No, that's... that's your glossary. Alright, thank you for the stuff. Should I be looting bodies, I wonder? Maybe, huh? Well, if there are any. We might have gone too far, we might have activated that cutscene. They did a good job. They did a good job. It's it's uh, it's better than it was. But when Mass Effect first came out, it still broke huge ground. Like it it did a lot of things new. Upgrades are put into light blue boxes on the top left of the weapon armor. Don't know how to get there with the controller, but you saw a blue X. Oh. Oops. Here we go. Hammerhead rounds. 
mods, combat sensor. Some enemies are jam use jamming technology to block your weapons. Radar, the combat scanner upgrade, improves detection levels, making these enemies visible. Level 1 detection. And hammerhead rounds, also called squash projectiles, designed to flatten on impact, increases the amount of physical force transferred to the target. Can I put that on anything? Let's try on our regular... Banshee, just that. Nope, both. Cool. There you go. Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Me? But... But I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what it's, happened to that no Turian. excuse. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. Then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. Doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your Ashley, sorry ass, I, and all you can think about I, is how you can rip us off. I got this. I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Hand over those grenades now. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over. I swear. Too many people died here for you to start jerking me around. Okay. All right. Th there was something else. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next... She just Geth pulls the gun out straight away, huh? Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? You ditch work, then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do? Run out there and die? I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... and it was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, 
I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Now he wants to run away. Oh, I got my little radar active now. Power wheel lets you use abilities. Right bumper. Aim at a target with right and then use warp. Use throw. Okay. Got it. Oh, I'll get used to that, I guess. A bit weird. Use throw. You missed! So corpses don't have shit on them. Very convenient all of these little barriers are here, huh? Hey Elix, how you doing? Get this train on the road track. Set the charges. Destroy What's the, the pistol shit? No. Leave no it, was, it was good. Charges remaining. Uh oh, I've only got four and a half minutes.
That takes him out. What? What? Okay. <laughs> it's it's very um underwhelming. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna keep doing that. ton of different armors that's cool we'll probably head this way after maybe but i just want to check first i got a my video gamey senses are tingling oh, okay Ah, oh, shit. That's it? That's all I get? Oh, I fucked it. Oh, well. Moving on. Let's go talk to the beacon. Hey, Jeff. I am fatigued. I wonder what that's from. Fatigued from hacking? Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. rebuilt we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime the Normandy a human alliance vessel it was under the command of Captain Anderson they managed to save the colony and the beacon one of the humans may have used it. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? 
like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I expect better of you, Lieutenant. You endangered the entire mission. Don't be so hard on him, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. It's renegade. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. I don't want her on my ship. I'm the captain of this ship, Commander. And I want Williams on our crew. Don't go dropping candy on the floor. God, that one definitely is an old person candy. Fell apart. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Gath, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. That's where the husks come from, right? We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a Spectre. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. When have they ever done anything for humanity? 
If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. We just, you can we'll just want to help them. As we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. The Citadel, aka running around for like an hour. Oh, I do like the music in this game. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. There's nothing we could have done to save him. No, I know that, but I don't have to like it. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. There's something big coming. I don't want anyone messing it up. You read me, Lieutenant? Five by five, ma'am. Is there anything else before we head ashore? Keep your concerns in check. You don't want to get a rep for questioning orders. Aye, aye, ma'am. Fucking Ashley. After what happened to Jenkins, the crew could use some good news. They'll be glad to hear you're okay. You're not assigned to this ship. Captain Anderson had me transferred to his command. Must have figured I knew what I was doing. You have a problem with me, Chief? You questioned my competence through the entire mission. Best way to stop that is to show me you're competent. But I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship with us. You didn't. Captain Anderson did. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. An edge pistol and a shotgun hurricane. So the elevator, I think, goes to my room, right? Yeah. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. 
Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Now, do I need to do any quests here now? Or can all that shit wait till later? Your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. You have to do some. Sounds like you convinced the council right. to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Fuck Settle yeah. Down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Important locations are marked on your map. Right. Yeah. It's coming back. Why did that... Did I get a free point there? Sets Intimidate score at 4. Opens up new dialogue options. Sells items to stores for 2% more credits. Alright. Well, whatever. Follow the pulsing arrow. Got it. What's up, Jermaine's? Never played this one? It's the first one. We got. I picked up the trilogy yesterday for like 30 bucks. It's on sale for another couple of days, I think. Two days. Good day, Commander. Puncher. Human ambassadors up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the Embassy. Sephiria. I like that. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of She's all Citadel workings. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Well, we get experience just for talking to people. Okay. Should I should I move over? You can see the map. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, 
where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Usari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is well, that's a cop out. information and simple interaction simulations. Do you know anything about specters? The term specter is derived from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. Each specter agent is handpicked by the council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. The Volus are the, um, the, the little round dudes, right? And they have to talk through masks. They have difficulty breathing or something. It can't be as simple as that. Mm -hmm. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Citadel Rapid Transport to travel quickly between major locations. As you explore the Citadel, more locations will unlock. The loading times are vastly different than what they used to be. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Garrus's investigation is never over. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. Can't be mean to Garrus. My findings mm -mm. on Zarin to the Council. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. 
Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. <laughs> I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Oh, okay, let's put that away, huh? Aha! I need like a dozen of you guys. Talk. Talk. I don't have that quest yet. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. I love that dude's robe. I saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Punch him. was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. We'll get him next time. Don't you worry. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. <clears throat> But I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. Yeah, I don't mind. Do. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's den. 
It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence. He's all right, that Saren. He's he all right. Maybe, maybe we can be a little bit hard on him, you know? Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. <laughs> but only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. They used, knows how to cover his tracks. there used to be this bug, and I think it was in Mass Effect 1, I can't remember, where you could sort of set up this weird loop where you could repeat the same dialogue over and over, and they, they didn't have a limit on the amount of XP you could earn from it. So you could just say the same thing repeatedly, and you just stack up, like, renegade points or, or whatever. Um, yeah, it's fun. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the Council, we'll be able to influence those rulings. Protect our own interests. No more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the Council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his Geth. Problem solved. Who cares if we get a seat on the council? What's the big deal? If the council, once we get a seat on the, take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the, I council, should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Bye. This is it. The very heart of the citadel. The pinnacle. All right, so we got to go and see. Let's have a look here. Where's where's my map? Uh, well, we just leave. Spin if you think about it too much. We gotta go find Caden. Not Caden. The goodest boy. That guy's up to some. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um. Yes. Is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well... Technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. 
I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Very trusting. Scan. Rapid transport. So is there a, is there a good way to track quests here, or is it just uh? I remember being it somewhat backwards, but it, yeah, we are talking 15 years ago. Wards. Oh, we need to go to the bar, of course, then, right? Oh, that happened fast. I guess, uh, I guess I'm not the only one with a, with a, boop. <laughs> That's her. Shit. Go. Unreal. What the fuck did he hit me with? Those were Saren's men. Whatever it was, it's like a truck. I gotta start using my bi uh, biotic powers, huh? I can set it up to automatically activate, right? Map throw. Map throw? Oh, map throw. Right, there you go. And what's this one? That gets through shields. Damage is only by enemies and objects and makes them more vulnerable to further damage. Oh, right on. Gotcha. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. Shepard. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Which game was it? I think it was Mass Effect Andromeda. There's this massive Krogan. I think he was on your team, but he had a very odd voice. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Goodbye. Enjoy the club. No, oh, I'm a friend of Fist's. Let me in. Hey there, sweetheart. Looking for 
for some fun. Oh, hit him. Can I say that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. See where this goes. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, Princess. Call me Princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? <laughs> you must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard's still trying to bring Saren down, huh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. As I heard, he was going back there. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. You can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown nosers. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny medals on his chest, and call him a hero. Everybody else does. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? Why don't you go ask him about that? What's it like working for CSAC? You mean, what was it like? Executors suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. You get off easy if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Yeah, skim, a skim a couple of credits. Note in the file. Shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Oh, we level up. Not a lot of nothing going on here. Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a specter. Maybe it's not true. Harkin's an ass. I bet he's just messing with our heads. There she is. Get her. Uh, we did level though. That's kind of exciting. Uh, six points. Gee, you get a lot, huh? Melee and weapon damage. All right. Thirty percent. Oh, oh. Okay. Put my helmet on. Ah, uh, we will auto. Jeez. 
shield boost, adrenaline burst. Overload. Barrier. Auto saves are sporadic. Oh, interesting. Okay. I do remember the elevators in here being notoriously long, specifically because there were loading screens hidden in elevators. Gotcha. They fix that? Well, I mean, you've got solid state drive technology now. Big place. Wait if you're on the mood, Caden. That your professional opinion, sir? Oh, you're gonna get hit. Definitely a gap between Mats, you take care. Have a good here. have good sleeps. Tracking arrivals must be a nightmare. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? No wonder the council treats us like outsiders. We'd be just another drop in a bucket they already can't carry. They must figure us for one more gang of FNGs looking for a handout. I doubt it's personal. It's gotta be a balancing act, like every other government. All right, secure the chatter. We're all FNGs here, but we don't need to make it obvious. FNG? Aye, aye, Commander. Hmm. CSAC Academy. Med Clinic. Yes. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was Shoot him. Smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll. Who are you? Let her go. That's my boy right there. The combat in 2 is vastly improved. I don't remember 3, or maybe it's 3 that I'm thinking of, but yeah. Perfect time 1 is very, Shepard. very simple. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. 
He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. Just around the corner. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. Love his if little you hurry, mouth! You can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Actually reminds Move me out. of my snakes. What? Add to squad X. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, they did an incredible job, but it, 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 I mean, this is great. They've, they've revamped a lot of it, but, um, up until this came out, the, uh, the game didn't age very well. I actually, I legit have no idea where I'm going right now. I thought this was to, to the academy, but maybe not. I scan that dude. Med clinic and CSEC. Ah, downstairs. There we go. There she is, get her! Boop. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Punch him! Torfin was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the Force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. 
but I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. I have to go. Wicked. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. I often wonder about, you know, a thousand years in the future. Well, Harris, any regrets about leaving Citadel security? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beat c -Sec. Well, we don't lack for excitement, that's for sure. Um... Like in the future, like does the, the does language change as humans? Movies have ex you know explored that stuff before, but there he is. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. I think we're going to get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. What's Rex's last name? Oh, his first name. Erdnot. Um, right. Map. Uh... To lower wards? Yeah, we're going back to the bar, right? Rapid transit. That sounds better to me. Get her! Looks like it's shut down. This is not Did that say bartender? Oh no. Oh, okay. I've only got. I got three heals, I get it.
Oh, it's on cooldown. Where's my... How long do I have to wait for that? <laughs> wait, that took him out? No way. Is that strong? Oh, shit. Oops. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Still got my renegade points, though. Oh, yeah. Oh no! Oh, that ain't good. Okay, well... I throw my grenades. Uh, options. Key bindings. Jump jets. Oh wait, that's for the car. This might be a lot easier on Keyboard. First aid. Got that down. Throw grenade. Oh yeah, I'm gonna die. Let's try that again. Damn, dude. Oh, really? How far back are you going to put me? Pretty fucking far. So there's a, there's a lot of trouble snapping to terrain. Bunch of the same shit. Definitely got the best pistol. Uh, we could radioactive rounds. Let's remove the mods. to replace it with something else. 
empty. And won't let me. What the fuck? So my Lancer is the one that's equipped. Okay. Yeah, I don't quite understand. Well, there's my hammerhead rounds at least. Oh, that'll do. have aiming assist no idea doesn't seem to but the reticle's so large it doesn't can't really tell Get him, Garrus. That's it. Stay alive, bud. He ain't dead. Nope, that's the wrong weapon. Give me... Garrus should be using that, and you should be using... Yep. I should be using that. And it swaps between the last two used? Yep. Okay, I'll try the pistol for a bit. Time it didn't cost me all of my health. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. If they just walk away. Quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. But it's an answer, Rex. Um, safe. Yeah, this game's kind of weird. It had um. It, it's it's downloaded through Steam. Override using 25 Omnigel. Hmm, okay. 
Um, but then you have the whole EA thing as well. Uh, so that's weird. Where's this turrets? They just appeared? Fist talk. Yeah, I didn't think so. Good pistol. I like it. Rex, what are you doing? Ow. Alright, Garrus is down again. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Tell me where the Quarian is and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. Shoot him in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. Shoot him in the kneecaps. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. Shoot him in the kneecaps. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Kneecaps. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. Straight up fucking murdered. Oh, this music reminds me of, uh... Star Control 2. This game is very hesitant to do what I needed to do. I have no idea if I'm heading in the right direction. Moreland store. Destination. There's no flag. Alright, we just follow the only direction, I guess. Did you bring it? Where's the oh. shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off.
the fuck just happened? Oh, someone overloaded me somehow. Fist set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren we got him. This one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. That's Bolo Santosi. He's the leader of the Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel's space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower.
Alliance Patrol report, Captain Henriksen reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Hmm. Um... They look so much different than I remember. I spoke with the consort in confidence and her alone. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Corla. Volus Ambassador, is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many Hey, fish, what's up, dude? Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Dan. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Uh huh. Scanning the countryside. I remember I remember looking up a guide to find all the little the little robot dudes. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. I can put in a word with the Embassy and speed things along. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. Look at this dude! Oh, he looks fabulous! I guess we just need to pick up Liara? We get her here? No, nah, she's somewhere else.
Chastising rebuke. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. It's so weird. You just walk up to a terminal. You don't even know what information you're getting. You're just getting just information. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Well, we have something going on here. Uh huh. My goodness, your Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Batya. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nerali Batia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. You know who and what I am. If I want Nerali Batia, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Uh, even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? You said you'd been briefed on me. How far do you think I'm willing to go on this? <laughs> All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. You can't go back and tell him there's a pretty good reason? Oh, really? Asana? No, Li Liara's not here. I, I think. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Clearly very busy. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? You know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger-than-average stir among the diplomats and hangers-on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium... Unusual dialogue, isn't it? Sounds very stilted. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I try... Flux or Korra's den. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Tell me about Flux and Korra's den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier, all at the same time. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Bleep. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palum, head of CSEC. Oh, man. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. 
I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigation. Punch him! What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Don't piss in my ear and tell me it's raining. <laughs> I've known plenty of dirty CSEC agents. There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. Alright, so where do I need to go next? Let's get this... Let's get this space station... ...done. Wanna move on. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? Absolutely. The only thing that matters is accomplishing the task. Get the job done. Maybe. But I've never had to cross that line to get the job done. That's why you're never. sitting behind a desk. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Diplomatic advisory warning. The following messages from was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, few tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join in the Hawking Eta cluster. Eta? Uh, only as one body can we right the wrongdoings. The wrongs done to our kind. Right the wrongs. Okay. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Bacha. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Level up. Um... Yeah, it's such a lull in the action. The storytelling isn't bad. I, I don't mind the writing, but it's just... Bleh. Get me out of this place. We've got to find the... Um, the, the reporter to... No, don't do that. Settle down. Um
Who's talking to who? That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you can't solve this problem, you don't even deserve to be in CSEC. I didn't ask for your help, human. I can deal with this myself. Mm -hmm. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits. This should cover you. 150 this fucking This is a hell. most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. Oh. Scanny Scanny McScannerson. Please do not disturb the keepers. Is there any point to going this way? It's quite the lean, sir. Vaughn. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. The Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. 
The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Folks, I think I'm gonna have to call it a night. I am getting awfully heavy-eyed here. Uh, excuse me one moment. Yeah, starting to starting to fall asleep real fast. That's good because I missed out last night. Um. I, once again, I don't have anyone to raid. Well, folks, take it easy. Um, I will see you tomorrow night. Thank you so much. Um, I will play a little bit more of this uh, some other time. I'm going to install some mods. We'll get rid of those hacking mini games because they're just annoying. I'll see if there's any more quality of life stuff. But uh, for now, take it easy. Thank you very much for a lovely evening. And uh, yeah, let's do it all again tomorrow. All right. Uh, goodbye.